Okay, next section, I just want to cover a couple of tips and stuff just to um, guide the beginners along. First of all, for the beginners, we don't want floppy arms. So basically, we don't want the arms to be going behind the actual lady's shoulder blade. So if it goes back, that means there's no tension there. Ladies, you should have tension in your arms. To do that, you push against and you have compression against the guy's arm. At this point, we should be kind of like both V-shaped, okay? When we're actually leading the lady back, we're leading the lady back on her wrist. So ladies, you should have a taunt wrist, so it should be flat, guys, with the back, with the front of your hand, that's where you should be leading the lady back on. So from here, when we lead the lady back, we're pushing back on those wrists, and then we're taking hold. What we don't want to do is to have completely extended arms. We just want to take a small step back rather than a big step back. So it's a small step back, and then we're taking hold fingertips to fingertips over there. So the key thing when you're doing teaching the compression is to pull the ladies in and then push back on the lady's wrist. It's, it's important that the lady's wrist must be down so they can feel the pushback. Right, guys, <coughs> when guys are holding on, you offer your palm to the lady like that. They're keeping your thumbs pointing to the ceiling. We don't want to be holding on, okay? The reason we don't hold on, because when we dance, we move, we're just changing our hand hold. So we're keeping the thumbs out of the way, not holding on. If you hold on, you won't be able to do a lot of moves because it's going to restrict you because you're holding on. <coughs> 